blue and white, you couldn't go wrong. The Temple Owls visited Happy Valley on a splendid afternoon to watch football wearing any jersey. And they go in the reverse, and it's ripped out for a loss back at the 27-yard line. Sean Lee leading the charge with Jack Walker. Short drop, Charlton, complete the Harper 30, 35, upended by Timmons. An excellent job, Jack, by the defense playing down in distance. They'll go to Royster right side. Royster 20. Bounces outside 25, far side 30, 35, 40. First down over the 45 and out of bounds at the 49 of Penn State. Gain of 33 yards for Royster. And you gotta love the block downfield from the receiver, Derek Moy. He's a big guy, helped really propel Royster to the big gain. Clark on the reverse, back to Powell. Clark with a block in midfield, 45, 40, Powell, 35, 30, and out of bounds. Another big play and opening it up here with this Penn State offense. An offense looking to get their running game on track. They had thrown the ball well through two wins and mixed the run in perfectly against Temple. The highlights presented by the Pennsylvania Propane Foundation and your local propane service provider. Propane, exceptional energy. Daryl Clark, exceptional energy, generating offense. Well, set back Royster on third and one. Clark, play action, sets, looks at the end zone, wide open, touchdown. Penn State, the Nittany Lions, cap an eight-play drive. Mickey Shore for the second consecutive week is in the end zone. I'll tell you, the last two weeks, he's been so wide open off the play action fake. Nothing was wide open when Penn State's defense was on the field. The Nittany Lions have by far allowed the fewest points in the Big Ten this season. Linebacker Sean Lee was on his way to another double digit tackle total. Temple's offense could not get across midfield, but their defense helped them out. First and 10, their own 41. Clark waits. Gets the snap from Wisniewski. Blitz coming over the middle. And is it intercepted? He's on the turf. And yes, picked off at the 49-yard line by Jordan Martin. With a coaching staff loaded with former Nittany Lions, Temple has improved each year under head coach Al Golden, a former Penn State tight end. His Owls were having a good first quarter. They moved into field goal range after the interception, scoring on the last play of the quarter. And they made things interesting on the first play of the second quarter. Short kick. Bounces around, Temple's on top of the football at the Penn State 48-yard line. Jarrett recovers, and Temple comes up with a big play on the special teams. Turns up the middle, powers his way to the 36, but that's it. Josh Hull's there to make the stop. Here comes the blitz. Back goes Charlton. Pressure. Steps away from the pressure. Looks downfield. Delivers downfield for Campbell incomplete, but Penn State blew it up from the get-go. Joe Paterno did not panic about his team's lack of running success, understanding Syracuse had blitzed so often a week earlier. His patience paid off as Penn State rolled on the ground against Temple in the first half. It's Royster up the middle, picks the hole, 20, 15, spins inside the 15, and a first half of the Nittany Lions. Clark. Royster right side to the five, inside the five. Royster to the goal line. Waiting, touchdown, Penn State. What a run by Royster, and a big block that time by Landolt. Landolt did a great job of coming off that left tackle position. Meanwhile, Tom Bradley's defense left Temple nowhere to run. The Owls managed only 46 rushing yards all day. Carlton back to pass, short drop, throws back oh. away and incomplete by Josh Hull. What a play, and Hull was very close to going the other way. Charlton, play action, sets, he throws, caught at the 36th, and down, short of the first down. It's snap to Clark, sets, pump fakes one way, now dumps it on the screen to Green. Green, 40, 45, 50, first down, Temple 48-yard line. That power run game right here, this is a power play that they run. From Penn State. Gets the snap. Boyster up the middle to the 35. Spins out of there. Far side 30. Turns the corner 25. First down. Penn State. Well, he's into a crowd. I'll tell you, they, you, don't wrap, you don't wrap him up. You're not going to arm tackle Evan Royster. Royster was one of many Nittany Lions hit by the flu bug during the week. On Friday, he had a temperature of 102. On Saturday, he had a rushing total of 119 in the first half. He wants to throw. He sets. He fires in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Penn State. Derek Moy, big target like a basketball player, boxed him out and gets the six. And then Clark delivers a dart. He wasn't open all that much, but he put it out in the front of Moy. Stewart, the quarterback, down on the option play by Jack Crawford at the 34-yard line. 
Still, Temple became the first team this year to score twice on Penn State in a game. Von Charlton's 36-yard pass to Joe Jones set up a second Brandon McManus field goal, and it was 21-6 with most of the third quarter to play. Stewart to the left, Stewart to the 20, Stewart spun around, drop, fumbles the football, Penn State recovers! Drew Astorino with the fumble recovery, and the Nittany Lions are in business! Clark. Royster right side following Giannis, 15 to the 10. Royster down at the five yard line. More than 105,000 were enjoying the gorgeous central Pennsylvania weather, but on the field, the Nittany Lions were unable to take full advantage of the turnover and get into the end zone. But Colin Wagner came on to salvage a field goal to make it 24 to six. Joe Paterno was undefeated against Temple and it looked like his streak was in safe hands with his defense. Pierce stood up in the hole and dropped at the 36-yard line. He gets three on the play. Charlton, drop play to Pierce. Pass through is dropped on a fine defensive play. Four-man front. Charlton back. Stumbles, steps up in the pocket. Down he goes! They're really excited about the athletic ability of Jack Crawford. He's got a great feel for being a pass rusher, making an inside move like that. He's only been playing this game for a few years. With 3.17 to go here in the third, it's 24 to 6, the Nittany Lions lead. It's it to Powell, and Powell forced out of bounds. First and 10, Clark rolls near side on play action, squares the shoulders, lofts downfield, complete to Powell, 45-40, near side 35. A good play action fake by Clark. Green the lone setback. Look, they give it to Drake, who fumbles the football, and it's recovered by Joe Suey at Penn State. Back at the Penn State 42-yard line. Boone has had a fabulous day punting the ball. Andrew Pitts will snap it. It's on the money. Here uh -oh. they come. He goes down. Flag goes down. Roughing the kicker. 15-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. The Nittany Lions took full advantage of Temple's mistake and went straight for the end zone. Or another penalty for pass interference had Penn State knocking on the door again. Darrell Clark was finishing up another big day as he spread the ball around to eight different receivers, including freshman Curtis Drake. On favorite jersey day, a lot of jerseys contributed. Back goes Clark, he throws over the middle, and it's caught Corliss to the 10, rolls ahead to the eight yard line, and now a chance to finish it. Green up the middle, Green to the goal line, touchdown Penn State. Stephon Green's first touchdown of the season would be the last score of the game. The fifth-ranked Nittany Lions beat Temple, although they remain a work in progress, with some more fine-tuning needed before the Big Ten opener next week.